Welcome to another Golden Peaks Productions Peak of the Week Wednesday video. Sigma! Jacob, this lens is sick. This is the channel that you get a little nugget of wisdom on the peak of the week from Golden Peaks Productions Extra. Welcome. <laughs> What's up? It is Wednesday, my dudes. Welcome back to another episode on Golden Peaks Productions Extra. That's our second YouTube channel. We do have a main YouTube channel called Golden Peaks Productions. You can go check that out in the description below. That houses more of our commercial work. This is more of our bonus footage, you know, burnout compilations, ride-alongs, extended cuts of things we've done with companies. And on Wednesday, this video, you're joining us at the peak of the week with Golden Peaks Productions Extras. This is the Sigma Art 70 millimeter macro lens. If you're wondering if you should buy one, absolutely you should buy one. You know why? Because you can get some great footage with this of anything from interviews to B-roll of anything you could possibly need. It's a great all around camera lens. It's like the Leatherman tool of your lens box. You can do anything with it. A great use for one of these lenses would be even an interview. If you're sitting here like this and you got it as a second camera to cut back and forth to, you can get a nice detailed shot of their face and their background is completely blurry while your foreground is super clear. So you're getting this really shallow layer of focus throughout this lens. So now that we got this lens here, let's hook it up to a camera and see how it looks. So now that we got it on our camera, we can take a look into what we can do with this. I was just looking at my can of Coke through this lens and it just looks so much more appetizing and crisp. I love this lens. I know what you're thinking. Well, you're a video production company. What do you use a macro lens for? Since it's usually used for more photo and very up close, crisp pictures of, you know, bugs and nature plants it's really cool on snow but at the same time you can buy them anywhere from four to eight hundred dollars really good range there not super expensive nothing crazy all in all great lens and uh, i hope you enjoyed the review and we'll see it next week on wednesday mm.